Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. In the manufacturing world, there's a key material that, while less well known than photolithography machines, is the lifeblood of the industry. From everyday mobile phone screens to heart stents in the tech world to precision spacecraft components, the core manufacturing process relies on this material, photoresist. Photoresist, like a nanoscaling knife, uses photochemical reactions to precisely transfer circuit patterns onto silicon wafers, making it a key element in achieving micron and even nanometer-level precision manufacturing. Photoresist accounts for approximately 12% of manufacturing costs, and without it, semiconductor manufacturing would be impossible. In the global semiconductor material supply landscape, Japanese companies hold a near monopoly in the photoresist sector. They account for over 90% of overall production capacity, and they hold a 100% monopoly in the supply of EUV photoresist used in advanced processes below 7 nanometers. Japanese companies like Tokyo Oka and Shinetsu Chemical have long dominated the market with their core technologies. If Japan implements a photoresist supply cut, related industries worldwide will come to a complete standstill within three months, and all sectors will face the difficult dilemma of a shortage of available supplies, with China naturally being no exception. This statement is not unfounded. Previously, Japan halted photoresist supplies to South Korea, bringing South Korea's semiconductor production lines to a near standstill. Samsung Group Air Lee Jae-yong even made a hasty flight to Tokyo to request a resumption of supply. Recently, Japan's Ministry of Economy Trade and Industry, METI, implemented export control measures, adding 42 Chinese companies to a restricted list, including photoresist. What factors are hindering other countries from achieving large-scale photoresist production? Why has no country yet successfully imitated it? If China were to face a photoresist supply cut, how would it respond? The answer may lie in Japan's ultimate control over photoresist production. Records indicate that hidden underground in Tokyo Bay lies one of the world's cleanest chemical plants. In this factory, Japanese companies are able to achieve a remarkable purity of 99.9999999999% demonstrating a level of precision that is truly breathtaking. This technology enables Japanese-made photoresist to possess exceptional performance. When evenly coated on the surface of a silicon wafer, it is over 100,000 times thinner than a human hair, and its tolerances are controlled to an exceptionally high level of precision. Notably, Japan has accumulated over 20,000 patents in the photoresist field and established 36 technical barriers, creating an impenetrable technological defense. Thanks to its long-standing research, an innovation in photoresist technology, Japan has gradually secured 70% to 90% of the global market share. The superior performance of its photoresist products, coupled with the strict confidentiality of technical details, makes it difficult for other countries to match its capabilities. China, having long relied on imports for photoresist, also faces potential supply risks from Japan. However, China has not passively responded to this predicament. 
In recent years, China has continuously deepened its research in photoresist technology and achieved significant breakthroughs in this field. China's independently developed T150A photoresist has reportedly successfully passed rigorous semiconductor manufacturing testing, achieving full independent control over the entire process, from formulation development to production. The performance of this photoresist is comparable to that of KRF products from leading international companies, with a maximum resolution of 120 nanometers surpassing many similar foreign products. T150A photoresist is now available in small quantities, successfully breaking through Japan's technological blockade and laying a solid foundation for the security and independent control of China's semiconductor industry chain. While Japan currently maintains a significant advantage in high-end materials, China has successfully opened up new opportunities and is demonstrating strong momentum. According to reports, 20 photoresist-related companies, including Dongsai Technology and Jury New Materials, have seen an average year-to-date increase of over 60%, while United Chemicals' year-to-date increase has reached a staggering 468%. Japanese industry insiders observe that China is accelerating its development through the use of collective wisdom. Research institutions alone have mastered 128 ceramic material formulas, enabling them to quickly identify the most cost-competitive products for market release. Japanese companies are now concerned not only about China's ability to catch up in the short term, but also about China leveraging its extremely low-cost advantage to drag their high-profit industries into a price war. China's breakthrough in materials offers profound insights into global industrial chain competition. First, even a disruption in the supply of a minor component can trigger an industrial chain crisis. Second, long-term investment in resources and talent will inevitably lead to overcoming technological barriers. This logic of industrial competition is well documented. Just as Japan reshaped the US steel industry with its low-cost steel, China's current rise in high-end manufacturing such as new materials, may foreshadow a further restructuring of the global industrial chain.